everybody, welcome to News Busted. I'm Jody Miller. Let's get started. With the Olympics winding down in Beijing, Julie Chen of CBS's early show said that China is showing that countries can be prosperous, quote, the communist way. She has a point. Slave labor does wonders for the economy. <laughs> The mainstream media continues to push the idea that America is in a recession, despite the fact that economic data doesn't show one. Can you blame them? After all, the cafe lattes they buy for their newsroom have, like, totally gone up in price. <laughs> Barack Obama is now accusing John McCain of being a celebrity, apparently after seeing photos of McCain palling around with Amelia Earhart and Charlie Chaplin. <laughs> A Pew Research Center poll shows that 48% of people say that they're hearing too much about Barack Obama and are getting tired of him. In fact, the tingle that Chris Matthews feels now only goes halfway up his leg. <laughs> a stretch of highway near Buffalo has been named for the late Tim Russert. Meanwhile, another stretch of highway that is shown on the map, but doesn't really exist, will be named after Dan Rather. <laughs> Scientists have announced that they are close to developing materials that could render people and objects invisible, but not quite as invisible as Barack Obama's resume. <laughs> Producers of Dancing with the Stars have rejected Tara Reid because she isn't family-friendly enough, and also because they'd really prefer to keep the rest of their cast syphilis-free. <laughs> Madonna recently told fans, you can take the girl out of Michigan, but you can't take Michigan out of the girl. And you know it's true, because she said it in that unmistakable Michigan British accent. <laughs> Thanks for watching News Busted, everybody. I'm Jody Miller. Be sure to subscribe to our videos. We'll catch you next time.